I called up, I pounded her in the back. Mm -hmm. I said, hold on. Mm -hmm. Y'all remember that? Yeah. I said, God said he worked it out. Then Sunday I said to her, God just get ready to drop some bless your socks off. And I had to deal with all that trauma and all for a couple of days. Wow. They never tell me she wanna leave church. But then come back Sunday. And then she came and told me on Wednesday. It changed my faith. Interesting. So was amen. amen. This is where faith kicked in. And believe God and give him. And I am what I always do. My God. Hallelujah. Uh, that's a great thing. Amen. We try everybody in all of us. Give me three of the body lines. As you prepare your gifts, you need your time. God help me here. Someone pray for me to hear the speech. Vivian, let me say something to you. God is trying to get your attention. Don't really know what's going on in your life. Nobody knows what's going on in your finances. But God said, Charles, tell her, I am seeking to get her attention. And within the next few days, I know you're a person of prayer. But God requiring of you there is a sacrifice that costs you something. He told me to say that if it don't mean nothing to you, it don't mean nothing to me. If I'm talking to anybody else, I need you to hear me. When I try to draw you, he said, I sacrifice my bitch. I don't want a sacrifice that does not mean anything to you. I don't want a sacrifice from you that does not cost you anything. Can we talk here? I don't know, I'm not in your house, but that's your mother. I know God is talking to her. This morning, God says she needs for you to live in to make a sacrifice of cost something. Oh, 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 oh. It's got to be something that you can't afford and it's going to make you uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, right When I said that you're sitting on your miracle, this thing, you're, you're, you go up in my spirit, baby. And then God, God began to talk to me. You're sitting on your miracle. That's not only you, there's five more people in here like you. Lord, you're sitting on your but you're sitting on it. But God says, I need an act of faith. I need an act of see the sheep of trust, responding, of trust. If you want another five people, I want you to get this. Don't try to walk on here now and be a mistake. What God is saying is, I need you to move my heart. Before we take our time. I need those people who, hearing God's voice, you know you sit on something that needs to break. I need you to, at this moment if you can, or even with a pledge, I need you to get a sacrificial seed in your hands. Even on the Whether it be on an envelope, whether it be something you do right now, it may not be a whole lot of people. Whether it be on a credit card, we have a credit card machine function in this ministry right now about time. 
But I'm doing it before time, and in 15 years of pastoring, I've never done this. Never. Because I believe that the time is over. But I want to talk to those people who are sitting on something. Shut up. You're trying to figure out why it won't break? And God is saying to Abraham, I'm asking you to give me something that you don't want to release. My word. The only people who can hear me, this ain't the time to be worried about what church folk think. They're not going to do much to bless you. I need the only people who can hear me is going to make the sacrifice. I need you to walk in. Walk up here with your seat. Just walk up to the altar. Don't leave, please. Those of you who are tired, we'll receive it after this. I need those people who say, Lord, I can't afford this. I might not be able to eat much this week. If you have a credit card, you need to do it that way. Just walk towards the door over there, and they'll open the door for you. The credit card machine is in there. Please, somebody go and get that working. Just go right through the door right there. I'm going to do this. See, y'all just pray for me. I need people now. Walk up, come on, close the door. I'm going to come and build with you. I need people who just coming up. Come here, come here, come here. Speak blessing on this day. I speak everything to correction and smoothness right now. I cancel every trick and every throw. Every negative report right now. I speak life to this word. It is so in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I need those people who are willing to make a sacrifice. Say, Lord, I need something to happen. I need it. I keep giving you our testimony, my wife and I, how we were so seed that was required. I received it in a minute. And then, now these people saw a seed. Tell us, amen. This is what I'm looking for from you. Now, see, one person put a lot of money in my hand. Somebody put a dollar and some change. Which seed is the greatest? The one according to the one making the biggest sacrifice. Somebody say, amen. So I want you right now, I'm coming, I come to do with you. I want you to place your seed inside the basket. Just put it in there. But don't leave it. Don't leave it. Just put it in the basket. Got to be a sacrifice. Watch for your testimony. Got to be a sacrifice. Got to be a sacrifice. Got to be a sacrifice. Shut the bush. Shut the bush. Yeah, bring the bring receipt and put it in here. I'm gonna say this again in the name of Jesus. Now, and I'm telling you, God has big money for y'all. And y'all don't hear me. Y'all don't hear me say. If you were the you would clap. God has big money for y'all. It's so big, it, it's coming with resistance. And I told you a few months ago when we were on the lunch, don't stop fighting. I don't care what they say. Fight! Until you see the glory of God. And God, I see money like turning around one of the big long machine things. The money just turning and turning and turning and turning like that. That when the right string and pull, it's gonna come flooding out at you. I receive it, I receive it. I receive it. All the people, everybody put your speed in here right now. Put your speed in here. Anybody, I want to make a prayer for everybody. Mm. Oh, help me. I receive this from you. Wow. Give yeah, obedience. Come here. This whole message started with you for this thing tonight. I want you to look at me. Look at me. Here, what I'm saying. Look at me. What I'm going to tell you, take it down. God says, do this. Every business that you have opened before, even those who you may have shut down because they look unprosperous, this week, get them moving. He said, I will give you instruction. Remember the laws that he told you? I will give you instruction. God just placed my spirit to tell you that you were born on this earth. But some of the things, some of the things you put in the And sometimes you don't know what to do, you think of things. So what God says that you have to do, you have to do what you're told. I don't know what that means to you. You have to do what you're told. Coming from here with preaching and it hits your spirit, get to it right away. But he said, everything that you open up, I receive it. Everything that you open up. And everything that you have out there before you, God is saying, go back and get it started again. 
your light has come now. Amen. Listen, there will be new people you're going to deal with. Okay, so don't go back to the old folks. Your business now is to get them started. But when the door opens, when the phone call comes, when the conversation comes, don't shut it off. No matter who it comes from. And I come to agree with you right now that you have a testimony on this thing within 60 days. Come on, have 60 days. Come on, have 60 days. All the people have 60 days. Everybody clap your hands and give God praise here this morning, man. Come here, baby. I'm sorry, the prophet is trying to come. Uh, Reverend Cornetta, come. The shipment brand goes so amazing, man. Grab this Steve right here. Grab this friend, he'll be around. Anybody who's sure that I need you back up, so I'll Then we receive their time. Let's hold it. We're going to hold it there, please. I want everybody to order the hook and grab hand for somebody, please. Any more receipts? I'll take them. Because this is a season for this. I didn't expect this to happen this morning, but it's a season for this. Everybody's saying, money's here, everybody's touching somebody. If you believe in what you're doing here, now say amen. amen. If you really believe in this, say amen. 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 Step here, test it. Don't move away. You got to get in on If your if your child is short, get them up here too. That's why this message is short today, because we have to do this. Because you're not getting very transition. Hear me. All that stuff going on in your mind is not real. Have I seen you before? No? Is your voice out here? You've been here before? I, I said every time you come. <laughs> okay. Listen. Your mind right now is your business. Don't respond to what's going on in your mind. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And I think something's going on with you or coming up right here concerning education. Something's going to happen in your life concerning education. Either you, am I right about it? Yes. Amen. See, now you don't think I'm close about it. Somebody give God glory. Amen. Somebody say glory to God. Somebody say glory to God. And it's going to work out because your fingers and with your mind. Don't respond to nothing based on what you think. Write down some confessions about your future. Write them down. Write the vision and make it clear. Write them down. And when you write them, say them to yourself. It's called meditation every morning, every noon day, and every night. And let them build you the place of faith. Listen, you have a great future here. You do. You don't think so, I can see it in your eyes. What you do, can you receive this? Can you receive this word? God's going to use you greatly. What you're expecting to happen, the thing that you're believing for in this age of education, is coming to pass. And it's going to be a big promotion in your life and your future. Somebody is not praying for you. Somebody is not praying for you. I don't want to talk about that. I'm going to put it in a minute. Josh, you got your license yet? You got your, you got your uh, uh, the business plans on the internet? You got all that in place? Okay, you ready then? Prepare yourself then. Yeah, yeah. You have to name your business? Prepare yourself. That's why, and I, I, I know, we haven't told that's why you may be getting a lot of blows right now. Amen? Am I right? Am I in your business? They come from everywhere, isn't it? Listen, prepare yourself. Your time is here. If that business is lined up, make your flyers. As a matter of fact, put it in the public flyers. Amen. This is what I'm saying now. Find the free ones. Or the ones that cost you five dollars, put it in everything. God said so you gotta get this thing out there. Um, <laughs> because there's a need for what you do. And there's a need for responsible people who are trustworthy in what you do. You have to be insured. If you don't have that, come see me and we'll, we'll, we'll fix that. You have to be insured. Because the neighborhood that God is sending you into, you got to show your insurance. Amen. I just don't know what I'm saying here. You have to show your insurance because this is what God is sending you to. It's God is around the corner. You will be past the end of these houses. Ooh. And they don't want to deal with you if you can't prove that you're protected. And you know what I just said? You're on your way, son. You're on your way. Somebody clap your hands. Even if you don't get You know, what, you know what just happened in your life? You just shifted. 
and, and listen to me carefully. You don't even know that I'm going to die. You know what I'm telling you? You have to go through. And when people see you, they don't go by it, Father. It's the, it's the anointing. They're not so much of the anointing. It's the anointing. You can't stop. Come here, come here. Let it go. Let it go. 